Hello everyone. My name is uh, Wilson Ordonez. Please raise your hand if you have been to any country in uh, Latin America. Somebody raise their hand. This yeah. Chile, Argentina. That's that's good to know. And uh, there's a, a lot of people in this room that have been in, in uh, Latin America. Some countries in, in Latin America. Um, on the book toward uh, renewed economic uh, growth in Latin America, uh, ba uh, Bella Balaza proposed in 1986 a four points strategy um, because Latin America was suffering from stagnation and a huge uh, debt crisis. His proposal uh, would enable the region achieve a sustainable economic uh, growth. Uh, first, he suggests that countries in Latin America should have an open economy with a strong emphasis on exports. Second, the region should establish an attractive environment that could raise internal savings and foreign investments. Uh, third, that Latin, Amer uh, Latin America should limit the role of government to provide bas basic public services with a low uh, involvement as a regulator. And finally, the need for industrial countries to uh, support the region by lowering trade barriers, capital control, and exchange rate manipulation. Actually, I agree with Balazas uh, proposed because Latin America has not achieved a higher level of development due to a dependence on failed import substitution policies that create thousands of inefficient industries at high economic and social cost. One needs to look at the fast economic growth of countries like South Korea, uh, Taiwan, uh, that in 1960s and 70s established economic policies that support a more export-oriented strategy. Something interesting to analyze is that in 1950, many uh, Latin America economies were larger, had a more developed industrial base, and were better in better shape than most of their East Asian counterparts. <coughs> but the larger countries in the region concentrate on an inward development strategy with extra strong protectionist policies which create thousands of inefficient state-run companies that use large sums of government funds in detriment a better infrastructure and social investment like better ports, roads, education, and health programs. For example, in 1981, Taiwan had the same per capita gross national income as that of Argentina, while those of Brazil and Mexico were higher than South Korea's. But by 1986, South Korea's per capita income was higher and Taiwan's had almost double than any Latin America country. How did they do it? Well, free trade, and this is the next step. Uh, these Asian countries opened their markets by lowering tariffs and barriers of trade and developed their heavy industry, which allowed them 
to acquire new technology and sell higher value add products. Whereas most of Latin America based its development on light industry and commodity exports. That's the problem for Latin America. In Latin America, for example, between 1946 and 1967, for every dollar that was invested by foreign capital, $2.70 left the region in form of repatriation of profits. But its Asian economy showed it is possible to achieve a higher level of development by having an open and export-oriented economy. If Latin America doesn't reform, the consequences would be higher tax evasion, more capital flights, and a large formal economy which reduce the tax base. A large, a large what economy? In, informal? Informal. Yeah, that creates uh, tax evasion. And most of our countries, that's the uh, big issue. So informal. informal economy Order. is all of the, of the vendors that are in the streets. Yeah. 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 Exactly. For those who have been in Mexico City, exactly. If you go to the downtown area, uh, we could see a lot of vendors on the street, and that causes that's the, the situation that made uh, our economies, not only in Mexico, but in my country, Colombia, and all of Latin America in general. Again, if Latin America doesn't reform, the consequences will be higher tax evasion, more capital flights, and large informal economy, which reduce the tax base and a brain, uh, brain drain because highly educated individuals would rather work abroad. Uh, selling government-run industries not only give these countries more funds to reduce their foreign debt and modernize infrastructure, but also allow them to focus on long-term development plans. To conclude, I have to say that Latin America has been affected by external economic factors that put a, a damper on any development strategy. That is, what, that, that is why it is important that developed countries contribute by lowering their trade, the, uh, their trade barriers, encouraging long-term investment, and transferring technology. That's really important. Technology. Thank you very much. Great to know.